Texas with a very experienced backcourt. Both of these teams really experienced by high major standards. Gillespie to kick. And a foul. Post their playmakers in there. Caleb Daniels, the transfer from Tulane. The extra pass now to Moore. He'll put up a three. Here in Coleman, a junior in Ramey, and a fourth-year junior in Jones. Brown with an 18-footer, and it's good. Then down to the post, Moore hands it off. Keep an eye on 24 in blue, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Look at the spin move from Moore. Villanova heavy pick and roll, spread you out, drive it. Robinson Earl short on the three. Offensive rebound, though, for Samuels. One post player, four perimeter. Drive, switching oh, hands, and laying it in. It sure does. He sat out last year after his sophomore year to get indoctrinated into Villanova basketball. It's worked out really well early. 14 per game so far. This is an excellent Texas defensive team. It, the defense has carried this team through the early part of the season. Sims facing up on Robinson Earl and draws the foul. She'll ever see, but he's gone casual like just about every coach has this year. He told us before the game that he's hoping. Oh, Brown for three. We feel that way as announcers, too. We're the, if, Jay Wright gets the, if he sets the trend, I, right. I think we can probably go along. <laughs> Four at six hands. Andrew Jones misses the three. And Robinson Earl down with another rebound. Biggie's rookie of the year last year, about ten and a half points, nine and a half rebounds per game for Robinson Earl. And he gets a touch of the post. Kick to a wide open Gillespie. Boy, that's too easy. Well, Villanova just so good at sharing the ball, moving the ball, trying to exploit a good matchup and have it be up and under. Gillespie, no, the follow, no, and doing all kinds of work underneath is Robinson Earl. Rebound for the youngster from Austin Westlake. Number 30 in white. Shot clock is down to two, and eventually it's turned over, and Gillespie's going to get an easy one. Over Arizona State very early in the season. So this is a, a team that came in very highly thought of, and deservedly so, in spite of the loss to Virginia Tech. Robinson Earl, nowhere to go. Good defense there by hand. And your guy Cunningham, the head of the snake, in that 1-2-2. Two, two. Baseline jumper. The extra pass. Swider gets a good look. And the offensive rebound to Samuels. Ooh. Oh, did he maybe, from our vantage point, like a he got away with one yep. hair. Fender. I would agree. I, don't, I do not think that was a flop. Brown for three. Amazing attitude, too, Dan. You're exactly right. Almost three years ago, early January, yep. the diagnosis was leukemia. Bigger and stronger over the last year. Well, and he told me earlier in the fall that he had hip surgery this right. summer, and he's never moved moved better since high school. Tough pass right there. If I'm Jay Wright, I'm going to get oh, as a I'm going to get Colin Gillespie back around the five or six minute mark. I don't think their offense can function as well. Villanova likes to free switch. You see right now, big on little. He's going right to pull up. Kai Jones in the corner. Buries the three. There's your guy. Dan, this kid, I think he's the best prospect, NBA prospect on this team. It's no disrespect to Greg Brown, but this guy is 6'11", can shoot the three, runs like a deer, rebounds and block shots. And he is in the infancy of his development as a player. How about his field goal numbers on the season? After that three, Kai Jones is now a preposterous 17 for 18 from the field on the season. Watch this. And how about 18 for 19? You know when the shot hits the court before somebody picks it up, that everybody's doing a good job blocking out. Gillespie misses the mid-range jumper. Eric Dixon is into the game. Big fouls per game. He's a senior. Let's see if Gillespie can tune up the Villanova offense a little bit. A lot of length there in Kai Jones. Nowhere for Gillespie to go. This is excellent Texas defense. A good cut there by Swider, but it's Kai Jones defensively recovering and deflecting it out of bounds. Probably pop Gillespie back out, not pick up that third. But you don't want him to be out of the game the second half of the first right. half. Ashman reserve on the second national championship team for Villanova back in 2017-18. Samuels was as well. Robinson Earl, baseline for the slam. 
What a move by Jeremiah Robinson Earl. That was set up by a little subtle shot fake. And watch Jones bite right there. He showed the ball, got by him. And when you're even, you're leaving. There's no way Jones can get back in front. We always told our guys, if you can get to his hip, you're gone because he cannot legally get back in front of you. Thank you, Gillespie. Back of the game with the Villanova on offense right now. And the Cats back within two after trailing by seven a couple of minutes ago. Another great shot. Big Samuels, though, can't get that ball moves with him. He's sort of a, what I would describe as an Alex Caruso mm -hmm. type of player. Brown just forcing it. Nowhere to go when he's called for the trap. You know, he looks like exactly the kind of guy the NBA loves and a potential one and done. But there's a lot for him to learn about playing the game. Right? It's, it's, we see it every year. Afternoon. Ramey creates a little space, doesn't get it. And Robinson Earl down with another rebound. As you would expect, Texas actually hitting one more three than Villanova. The Wildcats with just three made threes in the first half. Beautiful two-man game there between Gillespie and Robinson Earl to get the second half underway. Dan, I'm going to give Villanova the advantage in the second half because I think they score easier. And I think that they can, oh, they can keep Texas uh, at bay offensively. Five on four right now for Texas if they hurry. And they lose the advantage as Robinson Earl gets back into the play. Pull up by Coleman. Uh, he's got 13. That, that's the old line, right, friend? Why does everybody pick and roll so much? Because it's really hard to guard. Exactly. 15-footer <laughs> a little bit short for Samuel. Dan, the reason these teams are really good at pick and roll is because they play four out. So your big guy gets a lot of space inside. And better passers. They just get such good shots. I thought that 2018 was his goal. Look at that Sam with the throw down. I just think Villanova's offense is better than Texas's in the second half. I give them the advantage. Again, the two-man game between Gillespie and Robinson Earl. How pretty is that? On guards, don't they? You notice, Dan, he can hurt you in so many ways, yeah. Justin Moore, to your point. He's got a quiet 15. Getting noisier, though. <laughs> Sims with a size advantage now on Swider. Banging with him, backing him down. Tip no good, and finally, the third time is true here in the second half. I'd go inside to... Robinson Earl. See if he can get that third foul on Sims. That's what they're doing. Baseline, creating a little space. Can't finish. And out here. I just think he's so unbelievable. Again, the two-man game between Gillespie and Robinson Earl. They've used that for a couple of jumpers already in the second half. Bounce pass into the corner. Jumper a little bit short. Robinson Earl with a rebound and a putback. That happened because there was a switch on Jones with Earl. When Earl threw the ball to the corner for Daniels, he still had the mismatch inside. There's the mismatch. There's the pass. And now look at the position inside. Oh, man, that's Paul Silas like. Paul Silas, the great Boston Celtic, Dan. But a big afternoon right now, but Villanova has extended a two-point halftime lead now to eight. Here's a mismatch the other way now. Remember, oh! Point guards become Daniels and Justin Moore. Moore with 17 points already today to lead all scores. Nice speed into the corner, but a good look for Daniels, but he can't knock down the three. It's going to be a turning point right now, especially if this goes in. Coleman with a quick one. And Robinson Earl with another rebound, his eighth. Assistant coach Kyle Neptune just saved Villanova one of those precious two timeouts. Left. Yep. Tough catch by Dixon. Robinson Earl, corner three. Watch the ISO at the high post now, one on one. But look where Jones is. And a travel the call on Robinson Earl. Good job by Kai Jones staying with him. Uh, I'll tell you, the underrated play here was Andrew Jones taking away the right hand. Or is it Coleman? My bad. Watch Coleman, he's taking away the right hand. Forcing Robinson Earl to go left. Great. That could have been a charge. Terrific defense. Boy, Kai Jones is like a baby giraffe out there. And Cardi, who does such a great job covering recruiting for us, sent me an email during the last break saying that after high school, Kai Jones had very few scholarship offers, making it look easy at times. He's got 19. He's done this from the day he got to campus. Oh, with a slam. 
with well, a strong hand. And that's really gotten the fans here for the Irwin Center on their feet. Gillespie, the kick, Robinson Earl. Down with a rebound is Ham. Texas can inch a little bit closer. Shot troops are in. Ham and Cunningham. They help you win. Ramey to Ham. Misses from in close, and then a foul. Sweets down to the left from where we are right now at Irwin Center. We're going to welcome her in and uh, say hello. You looking forward to the game tonight? I am, and let me tell you the way the men have warmed it up already. We're in for a doubleheader that's going to be <laughs> worth the ticket. Absolutely. Number 12 AM and m and number 20 basketball with all the great history. I'm going to tell you, the sky's the limit. You know, Joni Conrad did a great job, and she won eight man. He is going to make Charlie Collier a All-American and a number one draft pick in the WNBA. As well, we talked about at halftime, Dan. I thought Villanova would keep Texas from scoring as easily as they did in the first half. Moore inside again, and Greg Brown's having none of it. Well, it's one thing to do that against oh, a guard. Lob over the top, but a, a little bit too high, even for a guy like Brown. So he'll knock down a three. He used to beat you over the head with athleticism and toughness. This is a tough Texas team defensively. Robinson Earl trying to back down Brown, and he does. 15 and 9 for the sophomore, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Ramey turns the corner, scoops it up and in. It's just dribble. They're going to get a pretty good look out of it. No, Swider can't get it off. That's good to hear. Yep, good recovery, but eventually it's a corner three for Swider. Weak side rebound number 10 for, oh, not Samuels, rather, with a rebound for Villanova. Great kick out, too. It didn't force it inside. They didn't have a shot. Too much dribbling. Too much. And too much length, Greg Brown. That's the pop here. They've gotten that a couple times. Good switch out by Brock Cunningham. It'll be hard for him to score on Cunningham. Down. Robinson Earl going to try to back him down. Use his size to his advantage, and he does. Yeah. Yeah. Gillespie doing a good job staying in front of Ramey. Kai Jones for three. Samuel. Picks up his second foul. Yeah, but good effort by, by the freshman. Crisscross, triple handoffs, pick and rolls, and then attack the bigger players, players that Villanova has on the floor. Nearly a steal by Brown, and then Samuels is fouled on the drive. Well, you could at least be original and pick some, you know, some other guy. He's always playing the hero late in the game. There's a travel. Greg Brown just trying to go a little bit too quickly. It's been Justin Moore and Jeremiah Robinson Earl carrying them offensively. Samuels got it back. And they can reset. Gillespie with a tough pull-up way off and the rebound to Sims. Yeah, he's forced the last two shots. He hasn't really gotten it going today. I think they could have got a better look than that. There's a mismatch again. Again, Villanova's going to switch at five spots. And a turnover, and now a run out. Samuels misses the dunk to shoot as Villanova inbounds. Got to come back to Gillespie. Swider, shot fake, and a three. A play by Gillespie. He sees him. Samuels and Jeremiah Earl with a slam, with Robinson Earl rather with a slam, and it's a five point lead. So two great trips for Villanova here to break the tie. Ramey over dribbling, and it is out of bounds. Still with Texas. No reset on the shot clock. Watch the ball movement right here. Shot fake, slide step. You know what you love about that, kids? You don't leave the three-point line. You slide to the side, and there's a finish on the other end by Jeremiah Robinson Hurl. Bounds as well. Slater back in on defense guarding Ramey. There's that mismatch for Samuels. Jones in the corner. And he lays it in. And the foul. Man, this kid, I saw him in June of 2018. 6.9 to go. Coleman, the miss. Villanova ball, and they're going to get out of here with a victory. 